Hi, this is Tim. I once put a tractor trailer on its roof with a jumper wire. And while it wasn't as dramatic as this, it was still very dramatic and very scary. And there's an important lesson to be learned here. So it started out like so many projects, you know, I had the components sitting on the table and I wanted to do some testing, you know? So yeah, I've got a jumper wire and I'm jumpering over and it's like, okay, yeah, it works, yeah, it works. Trying to work my code out. And then we mount it all on the machine. And now we have actual switches and buttons and things that we're supposed to use. But I left my jumper wire on there just in case. So this machine was supposed to clamp the cab and rotate it 90 degrees. And you hit the button, clamps come down, rotates 90 degrees, you hit another button and it rotates it back down. I saw something that was concerning when it rotated one of the times. And instead of hitting the button like I was supposed to to make it do the whole automatic process, I still had that jumper and I reached over there and just hit that jumper. And that cab started rotating up. And when it got to about 70 degrees, I was just like, something feels wrong about what's going on here. And I realized, oh my goodness, I forgot to clamp the cab down. And so I killed the e-stop and the thing was about here. And it just slowly ticked over and then BAM! It crashed down on the ground. Now, it's a funny story, but I use this story in my class a lot when I have somebody eager with a jumper wire because if somebody had been standing there, I would have killed them. So watch out for those jumper wires. Click here to find out how you should be troubleshooting your machines.